fighters coming out. Uh, it doesn't look like uh, it doesn't look like there's going to be another break. People were trying to trying to get by here, but uh, we got v we're scheduled to have the females coming up now, Alex. And uh, I'll tell you something. I said it yesterday, and by the way, well, hats off to uh, the crew at uh, LDLTV.com. These guys are doing a great job, man. They sure are. You know, uh, I tell you, what a what a what a setup they have, and the work that uh, John and, and his staff has done is amazing. You know, it all started yesterday. Uh, really, when when the smoke clears, they're going to be sitting around tonight, and I hope they uh, they have a beer and a scotch. Well, and uh, at least I'll have a scotch. And I hope they uh, can really wonder what just took place in the last two days because they've been working nonstop for two days. Uh, they sure have. Hats off to these guys, and they're producing a, a great show. Now, the first girl, the girl that's entering the ring right now, we're, we're the next fight that we're scheduled to see is going to be a female bout, uh, six rounds scheduled for six rounds. Now, Patty Boom Boom Alcivar, there's a lot of fanfare about this girl. She's out of New York. Now, she's going to step in the ring with uh, um, um, Savannah Hill who I've actually seen before. And, uh, you know, she hasn't, uh, she's in the ring right now. Uh, she uh, doesn't appear to get too much sun, so hopefully, uh, hopefully she's not. She's uh, going <laughs> to be burnt by the end of this fight. Hopefully she doesn't Especially have Especially if any. we go six rounds. Yeah. You know, we both, uh, and, and I, I went off uh, congratulating the production crew, and the reason is because so many people have come up to us and said that uh, they watched our little broadcast, impromptu broadcast of the weigh-in yesterday and, th and thought it was great. And uh, one of the things that took place during the weigh-in that we were pretty vocal about, Alex, was the fact that uh, Patty Boom Boom Alcivar, who we did an interview with, who prided herself on, on weighing the right amount and everything, ends up being uh, a pound and three quarters overweight. But Team Hill decided not to make her lose the weight. And um, I think that was a mistake. We're going to find out now uh, if it's uh, how costly of a mistake because you're right. I think that um, had they insisted that Patty uh, take an hour and drop that pound and a quarter, uh, I think right now, you know, you know for sure that uh, Savannah would feel probably a little more refreshed than Patty does. But uh, now that they're both coming into the ring, uh, this the weather is going to be acting on both of them. And... Um, and uh, Miss Alcivar here is actually a little heavier than was contracted. Well, now Patty Boom Boom Alcivar has just entered the ring. And uh, as she was in our interview, she's uh, full of energy, this kid. We're going to go up to the ring and All right, ladies and gentlemen, we have a special female attraction. This one's scheduled for six two-minute rounds in the junior bantamweight division. Your referee in charge is Frank Santor Jr. Introducing to you first, fighting out of the blue corner, wearing the white with red. She weighed in at 113 and three-quarter pounds. With a record of seven wins, eight losses, four wins. Coming by way of knockout from Little Rock, Arkansas, please welcome Savannah the Lioness. And her opponent fighting out of the red corner, wearing the blue with black. She weighed in at 113 and a quarter pounds. She is undefeated in her young career. Four wins, no losses. Three wins coming by way of knockout from Queens, New York. Fighting out of Deerfield Beach, Florida. She is Patricia Patty We know that uh, Boom Boom Alcivar is ready for this fight, but Savannah Hill is ready for this fight. Her team felt uh, pretty confident in their game plan and uh, everything else. They know what, uh, or at least they think they know what Patty's going to bring. And uh, Patty's style is, uh, she likes to come out and uh, come right at you, a la getting the nickname Boom Boom. It's Boom Boom versus the Lioness, so we're going to see right here. Well, Savannah Hill bell just sounded for the first round and as you heard uh patty's in the uh blue and uh black trunks patty caught savannah right on the way in and patty's in uh, the white i mean uh savannah's in the uh white trunks uh with the uh, uh red trim now patty uh savannah's a tough girl but uh, obviously right off the bat you can tell that uh, uh patty uh, boom boom has the uh 
uh, the skill level was a little high. Nice uppercut landed by Boom Boom. Another uppercut. She seems to uh, not uh, uh, big wide miss, Alex. Wide left hook by Savannah that missed. Both fighters have the pink gloves on. Yep, in honor of the uh, our cause here tonight. Does Savannah Hill look like she's... I know she's coming forward, but she, she does look like she's breathing heavy already. Yeah. Yep. She's taking some shots. Uh, defense is not in her in her game plan. She's no. getting stunned. And she's, it does seem like she has elected for aggression over caution. She's uh, she's breathing very heavy for, for someone that's uh, in their first round. Now, I'll tell you something about Savannah Hill. They have like four kids. Really? At least. At least three. Uh, Patty, Patty is so such a refined fighter compared to uh, now she's showing us her defensive skill by moving around. She's hitting, she, she's landing hard shots and getting out of the way. She is, and she's got some nice lateral movement here as well. That was a nice double left hook. Oh, wow. And that was nice. She had a right hand. Do you sense that Savannah Hill is not hurting her with any punches? Yeah, I, I think that um, Patty has decided that uh, there's nothing Savannah can do that can hurt me, and I'm going to just go ahead and showcase my skills, and so far it's working for her. You know, I enjoy watching female fighters that are skilled, and Patty Boom Boom Alcivar is skilled. We just heard the 10-second warning, and just to remind all the viewers and listeners, uh, female fights are two-minute rounds, so if it seems a little quick, it's only two minutes instead of three. That's the bell to end the first round. Uh, pretty good uh, pretty good round for uh, Patty Boom Boom Alcivar. Dominant round for her. Defensively, she looked really sharp. She landed the uppercut. Um, I, listen, it's a tale between two skill levels here. I know Savannah Hill is a, uh, a tough girl, but uh, listen, Patty Boom Boom Alcivar, Alcivar is uh, much more refined. She's obviously the better fighter in this one. And Savannah Hill is getting some instructions. right in the corner of uh, Boom Boom Alcibar, and uh, you know, she's, uh, I think everything's going the way they're planning it. Yeah, she's listening intently to her trainer here. Captain Caveman is what it is. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, I think that, uh, you know, I, I love watching fighters, especially young fighters, that do listen to their trainers. Here's the bell to start the second round, scheduled for six, the women's division. And Savannah coming out a little more subdued this round, not quite as aggressive she, and wild. Savannah oh, is I not, spoke too defense soon. is not in her arsenal. And uh, Patty is, uh, is is just really hitting her at will. She's wide open. Wide open. Nice slick move there. She's showing some slickness, I tell you. I'm impressed with how she moves to the side. You know, nothing is landing flush on her. Nice right nice hand right. snuck yep. in there, she walked in, walked and right uh, into it. she moves. She she circles around, so so Savannah can't answer, and then she's back in position to land another shot. She's looking very sharp in there. Yeah, there's definitely some smart movement. You know, you you, you say a word uh, to describe Patty Boom Boom Alcivar, and smart is a good one because she's obviously an intelligent girl. We've gotten to speak with her. Uh, a couple of times on the show and then yesterday at the weigh-in and she's fighting uh, with equal intelligence. Wow, and that was a triple left hand from Patty. Uh, she's doing some nice things in there. You got a bloody nose on Savannah Hill now. Another big right from Patty. But she's mixing it up. She's going to the body. She's coming back to the head. I think it's a matter of time. Yeah, and now it looks like we might be seeing, going to see a stoppage here. Savannah seems to be blowing heavy. Yeah, she's breathing very heavy. Not sure uh, if uh, if she should continue. Uh, not not so much with this fight, but in general. A lot of blood coming from uh, Savannah Hill. And uh, we got the we got the warning uh, for the uh, end of the second round is coming up. Savannah Hill is uh, gasping for air. Patty's uh, just shifting into second gear, it looks like. Yeah. Another another solid round for Patty Boom Boom Alcivar. And uh, Savannah Hill is, uh, I think they're going to take a look at Savannah Hill. Uh, 
this kid is uh, a game fighter, but maybe too game for her own good. Yeah, I think the ref's on his way over to the corner right now. You know, it's something we learned about referees, and uh, a lot of times you'll see a referee walk over to a corner. You know, they try to get a feel for what's going on in that corner. If a fighter seems okay, and he seems to be telling her that if you don't show me something, uh, I'm going to stop it because you're taking some punishment in there. I hope so because uh, she definitely seemed to be uh, taking some real mean, hard punches that round. We got uh, Carl King in the house. Obviously, uh, Don King's uh, son. Uh, he's here. And uh, uh, Carl King's son is part of the production crew doing a great job working the cameras. So uh, we got the King connection going on. <laughs> Go round number three. Again, Savannah, you know, she's got more heart than uh, uh, smarts. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm glad you said it, Alex. I, I get criticized a lot for being a little too honest. Nice, nice, solid shot landing right. I mean, these are landing right on the button. You know, I, I wish some of the guy fighters that we've seen in the past would follow what Patty's doing. She's fighting uh, terrific. She is fighting a really smart fight, and she's um, in just complete control and really showcasing her skills. But I tell you, you got to hand it to Savannah. She definitely came here to try to win, and uh, she's putting it all on the line. But all and she's I tell doing, you, things are not going her way, but she's still gutsy and trying. All she's doing is coming forward, but she's not throwing punches, and, and she's actually walking into the fire. Yeah, and right now it does seem to be that the blood from that nose is bothering her. And Patty... Uh, Patty's very calm in there. She's, she's not even breathing hard. I think she just started to sweat a little bit. And as we learned yesterday, she's working about it. She's breaking her down. I mean, uh, I don't think they're going to let this continue. Uh, this is a mismatch. But uh, like I started to say, one thing we learned at the weigh-in yesterday, Patty's been down here for a couple of weeks. She's uh, from New York. They announced her for fighting out of Deerfield Park, which is south of here. Uh, they're going to, I think the referee really wants to really, stop this yeah. fight. Uh, you know, the, the look on Savannah Hill's face is basically, oh my God. Yeah, and I don't think that um, at this point um, there'd be too much argument if he did stop. As much as she's trying and coming forward, I don't think she's got the power behind her punches. And the look on her face is that she's being hurt by Patty's punches. Definitely. Uh, she hasn't been staggered or anything. And, and maybe what she needs to do is, is take a round off. And what I mean by that, I'm referring to Savannah Hill, is, you know, stay away from the, the, the shots that, that Patty's landing. I mean, they're hard shots. Uh, you know, uh, something the corner of Savannah Hill happens. Her trainer happens to be her husband. Um, you know, how do you let your wife uh, take a beat? Uh, you know, I know that she's got hard. I know that she's trying her best, but you know, at some point in time, you got to realize that you're outclassed. Yeah. You know, and in this particular case, uh, you know, it's time to, to call it that. I don't want to sound uh, brutal here, but you know, I mean, uh, we got we got photographers real up close trying to trying to get some shots of uh, of a beam gore. fighter. Yeah, the gore coming yeah. out of her nose. <laughs> He's not doing much. I don't see any ice being dumped on her. I, oh, I see an ice she pack. An ice pack yeah. But you need to be dumping some ice cold water on this girl. And meanwhile, Patty Boom Boom Alcivar is, uh, you know, coasting along here, in my opinion. Uh, everything is going the way she wants it. Brilliant performance. And we, 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 we heard her say yesterday that she uh, plans on being busy this year. She's got some uh, aspirations for a regional title match. And uh, I think she's well on her way to that. She's proving that uh, uh, she's she's the real deal. She definitely looks polished here. And, uh, I mean, granted, she's um, she's got an opponent in front of her that's making her look pretty damn good. But um, I do think that, um, you know, she's doing what she should be doing with somebody like this. I think you make a great point. She is in with an opponent that's making her look good. But, you know, as an opponent or as a corner of Savannah Hill, uh, go to plan B. Uh, coming forward with your hands down obviously is uh, it's not working. Is perfect. Yeah. Hey, that's the perfect game plan for Patty Boom Boom Alcivar. And uh, Savannah Hill needs to make an adjustment or call it a day. Well, that shot stood her straight up. Stood Savannah straight up. Well, 
Patty knows that the uppercut is uh, something that Savannah Hill does not know how to defend against, and she's using it to open up uh, some right hands. Now, I think those were, that was the first two-punch combination that landed on Patty, but did not do any damage. She's a she's a compact little muscle machine. Isn't yeah, she? I was just gonna say she's able to really muscle out muscle her. Uh, she can move her around where she wants to put her, and uh, she's really in complete control of this fight. She's had an extensive amateur career, and you know, for a fighter that's uh, in her uh, fifth pro fight, uh, she looks pretty damn polished to me. It almost seems like Savannah Hill is uh, actually crying. Does seem to be, has quite a bit of blood coming out of that nose. She keeps fighting back. She's got heart. She's got heart. But uh, you know, when when does when do you, as a husband when do you call it a day for your wife? Yeah, uh, I, I think that, uh, you know, uh, as this fight continues, Patty's doing what she wants to do, and uh, she's uh, she's she's breaking Savannah Hill down. You can't take anything from Savannah Hill. She's uh, got a lot of heart, but uh, she's outclassed. I I, it looks like the ring they're, doctor. They're stopping it. Stopping the fight. Um, maybe not. Maybe what the doctor said is she's okay. Let it continue. Yeah. I thought he waved it off. It looked like it to me too, but maybe not. Maybe he said, you know, one more combination, whatever. Well, apparently they're continuing. Apparently they're continuing. A little bit of panic over the mouthpiece in Patty's corner, but so far that's been the only wrinkle tonight. <laughs> <laughs> and you know what? It wasn't really a wrinkle because the bell sounded and it was in. And it was in. That's right. This is a uh, a great uh, a great demo, yeah, a, a great okay. show. For this Patty. really this uh, should be stopped. I mean, this is you that you could see she went off on with, on you know not even under her own power there for a second. Savannah's game. She's trying her hardest. She's trying to be aggressive. But she's not hurting Pat. Not at all. You just she just landed a clean left hook and nothing happened. And and when that's happening, and I know this referee wants to stop the fight, I, I think the doctor should have been paying more attention. Uh, honestly, he's uh, chatting with some people ringside. Uh, he should be paying attention to what we're seeing, and we're seeing someone like you said that's got more guts than brains, Alex. Right. And I, and I think we what we've learned from uh, a lot of recent you know horrible ring tragedies is that. It's not any one punch that uh, shows that the fight's over, but sometimes it's just plain too many clean head punches, and that's what we're seeing here tonight. There hasn't been one punch where you can say, okay, that's it, that was the one, that's the one time we should stop it. It's just that she's landed, Patty has landed so many clean head shots, you get to a point where enough is enough. You know, what I see with Savannah Hill, I've said it numerous times already during this bout, that you know she, she's got a lot of guts you know if someone actually was teaching her some stuff you know like to keep her hands up you know ironically enough aside from the blood you would think that she would have some welts I don't see any yeah yeah and the corner um, of Al Safar is asking for her body shots and I think they're right uh, that she has been a little bit um, head hunting here I mean the head's wide open and she's been landing well but uh, she might be able to stop her if she connected to the body a little bit. Well, I'll tell you what. Um, when Savannah goes back to that corner, um, you know, she's just tough. She's just tough. And, uh, you know, she doesn't seem to... She seems to be at a point where she's not getting worse. But she's still sustaining it. Yeah. So one-sided one beating. Hammered. I mean, you know, as a, as a judge, do you need a scorecard for this one? <laughs> I think they're giving Savannah Hill an opportunity to finish the fight on her feet, but I don't know if it's uh, if it's fair to her. I, I don't think so. Like I said, I got to see her, and I, I said uh, you know prior to the fight, uh, we said it yesterday at the weigh-in that I know that she's a tough girl, but you never heard me say that uh, she's that talented. <laughs> You know, obviously, she needs a knockout to win, and not once has she put Patty in any kind of trouble. Uh, I find it hard to believe that she would uh, dig, dig, 
deep enough to uh, to get that knockout blow. Yeah. I just don't think she has it. And Patty comes on strong. Yeah, I think for the Patty last is looking for the highlight real finish here. Nice She's body, digging. beautiful body work. Another nice right hand, left so, hook. solid follow, a triple left hook followed by a yeah. solid right hand. And, and you know, uh, you do. You gotta admire the work ethic of Patty Alcibar too. You hear in her corner saying, "Fight like you're behind," which um, you know that's uh, that's nice to hear. Oh, she just she just actually Savannah Hill just landed a pretty solid right hand. Night that the uppercut's been there all afternoon. All afternoon, every time she throws the uppercut, Patty, she lands. Um, there, yep, two examples right there. There's another. Well, actually, Savannah blocked that one, so she didn't block the one. Big right hands. I'm That's amazed right. at the, the amount of body shots that Savannah Hill has taken and does not seem to hurt. She must do 100 million sit-ups. Well, there was a body shot by Savannah. But she's got no, no mustard on it. No. You know, and uh, Patty doesn't even look like she's breathing hard, to be honest with you. Nice, wow. nice, nice left hand, straight See right. That? Yeah. Straight right left hand. hand. Yep. Yeah. Nice. Another nice double uppercut. <laughs> she lands a, she lands a oh, straight right, followed by a right uppercut, all in the same motion. There's the ten. Oh, you know wow. what? At least Savannah Hill finished on her feet. What a great performance by Patty Boom Boom Alcivar. You don't need to go to the scorecards for this one. Yeah, a real, real gritty effort by Savannah Hill. I tell you, I, I'm not so sure if hey. I uh, would have wanted to, um, you know, see uh, someone I cared about uh, take that much punishment. But, um, you know, they, they've been working together a while, so I'm sure he knows her better than we do. Yeah, you know, I, I think that she, uh, she wanted to finish on her feet. She got her wish. But, uh, geez, did she, take, uh, did she take a beat on this one? But uh, I, I'm sure that... Uh, the judges don't need a calculator for this one. Uh, it's pretty, uh, pretty, pretty obvious uh, who uh, won this one, uh, in my opinion. You know. So we're gonna go up to uh, the ringside uh, uh, announcer here in a second, Mark uh, Lickfield, and uh, as soon as he gets the, uh, as soon as he gets the official scores, which uh, he may have uh, in his hands, so we'll uh, wait. I just think it was a great performance by Patty Boom Boom Alcibar. And, uh, you know, a gutty, gritty performance uh, by Savannah Hill. But uh, I think that she's just uh, clearly uh, uh, outmatched. She was. She was outmatched, outgunned. We're going to go up to Mark right now. Well, ladies and gentlemen, after six rounds, we go to the scorecards. Jack Woodburn and Toby... Uh, Jack Woodburn and Bill Ray scored about 60 to 54. Toby Tamark in season 60 to 53. For your winner by unanimous decision and still undefeated, Patricia Patty Boom Boom Asila. Actually, the judges, uh, they all, all the and judges let's hear it for Savannah Hill. Hill. Excellent performance by uh, Patty Boo Boo Mousebar and a gritty performance by Savannah Hill. Uh, this kid, uh, Savannah Hill from uh, Little Rock, Arkansas. Give her a lot of credit, but uh, maybe she should uh, consider doing something else. I don't want to sound cruel.